Hey everybody, welcome to eGirl 371's channel. Ooh, I can't talk today. So we're going to do a little vlog and we're calling it The Big Adventures in the Little City. And before we actually go on any big freaking adventure, we have to stop at the bank because some of us are poor. So uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Hey guys, so I thought I'd tell you more about my channel now that I've gotten out of the bank. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be like a hodgepodge of stuff, like my first video is already kind of weird because I was obsessed with the show Total Drama Island, and I'm thinking it's going to be vlogs, maybe some beauty guru stuff, maybe lyric videos, it's whatever I want because, you know, it's my channel. Um, you know, it's it really reminds me of a Graveyard Girls channel, if you don't know who she is, check her out, I'll try to link her in the down bar, and she's just so funny, and she's... Uh, what inspired me to actually activate my channel. So, um, before we start this road trip, I'd like to show you guys something. That. Yeah, my, uh, my check engine light is on again. And it just shut off, like, a week ago, and now it's back on. I'm pretty sure it's because my gas tight never tightens. My gas tight. My gas cap never tightens the way I need it to be. So, yeah, that's just putting a damper on my week. But, um, yeah, this, this is Layla, my beautiful car, and we should probably get started on this journey before rush hour starts, because rush hour in Vermont is literally worse than it would be in, like, Los Angeles or something. Alright, oh, we have to stop Dunkin' Donuts, because I need me a cool auto. We always need coffee at this hour, of course. Alright, bye. Alright guys, you want to say something that I call a sad addiction? This. This. This hot chocolate gulotta, like, mm, so good, but I've had, like, probably five, six, seven within, like, the past, like, four weeks. It's really sad. Whenever I go to Middlebury, I always make sure to stop at Duncan, and, yeah, it's really pathetic, but enough of that. Uh. <laughs> Let's just go on this road trip before anything else bad happens. I literally hate driving more than I hate anything. Like, it's literally the worst thing ever. Don't do it. There's too many stupid people you won't be able to handle. Just saying. Just take my advice. Never get your license. Just never do it. Okay? Okay? We good? Got it? Good? Alright. So what I was talking about earlier with the, uh, I hate driving statement was that there's too many stupid people. Like, there's this car and he was, like, weaving in and out of the road with, like, a truckload of lumber. I'm, like, you know, I feel unsafe. The Jeep in front of me must feel unsafe. Can you please be safe? Can you just please help us all? But, um, anyway, we are at the dollar store because that's how I shop. Because I'm poor. So, let's see what we can find. If it just named us the dollar store, scare anybody? It's because, uh, the dollar store scares me. Right. The toys here, like, can I just talk about this? This Bindi, Bindi doll. Bindi, I'm a Bendy. I don't know. It's like Steve Irwin's stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust anything in dollar stores, but it's weird because I'm shopping here. Which, like, why are there shower rods next to the dolls? Like, why is this happening? Why? Why? And dog, dog supplies. I just, no, I don't. No. Uh, hashtag I can't. Is it bad that I want this? Because I want this. Like, I love it. But it's like it's the most obscure thing. Like it's in the middle of nowhere. But like I just want it. Like you know, it doesn't even make sense. Because dollar stores sell the most obscure stuff. Like there's a uh, there's a dinosaur pinata right there. I want it. I I just I want it. I want it so bad. And, like this basket like this. I want this. And I have no explanation for it. Well, okay, no. I want it because I'm going to a Christian camp in a few weeks. I can't say which one, but yeah, I need something to hold my toilet shoes. But still, it's the most obscure stuff. It doesn't make sense, and it sketches me out. Like, these these aren't even legal anymore. Like, come on. They're just no. J no. Yeah, I just. That's, that's another reason why dollar stores creep me out. You know, I'm not quite sure what this is, but, uh, these instant things, at first, first off, they spelled buzz, they spelled buzz wrong, and second off, it, it just made me feel like there were drugs in there, like, I felt unsafe, 
I feel like he's very unsafe. So that's reason number three. Why I hate dollar stores. Just they make me feel unsafe. And I just don't like feeling unsafe. I have anxiety and panic disorder. Like, I can't be feeling that. And, oh, I kind of hate how they sell out-of-date stuff. Like, Easter candy. And then, you know, I was going to call them peppermint sticks. But uh, candy canes just, just creeps me out. Like, ugh. Ugh. You'd think that since I'm at a dollar store, I'd be able to find, like, most obscure things. Like, I'm looking for, like, mustache stuff, because my friend whom I'm shopping for loves mustaches. Am I finding mustaches? No. And it's really upsetting. Like, I'm like, I just want a mustache. Is that so much to ask for? Uh, apparently it is, but it's whatever at this point. I'll find something for her, and I'm going to TJ's after if I can't find anything, so... She should be happy with whatever I get her, because I was just invited to this party and she forgot to invite me. Oops. Ah, oh, whatever. I love her. I love you, Emily. Gee, what a throwback. Like, I remember this show, like, okay, they just, they, like, just released, like, the, uh, movie removal or something, and it's the sketchiest. Like, it ruined my childhood. It just ruined my childhood. Go look up Texas Laboratory Boob Removal, and you'll... You'll see what I mean. You'll just be scarred for a little bit in your life, but <laughs> you'll get over it. Like, oh my God, <laughs> what? What is this? <laughs> Why? Just, I don't know what to think anymore. I really don't know what to think. <laughs> Oy vey. How about another throwback? Like, do you see this? Sorry, there's my childhood, right there. There's a lot of things from like the nineties here. Uh, okay, well this is early 2000s, but like, oh, this is a better, like, sticker book. Like, come on, guys, let's, let's get it with the program. Come on. <laughs> okay, so I would have felt more when I was in the dollar store, but I saw someone I knew from the church I used to go to, and I was like, uh, yeah, I'm just going to stop before I look crazy. And I kind of look crazy right now, because I'm standing by the road, and people are like, uh, why is she videotaping? So yeah, I gotta unlock my car, and we're going to TJ Maxx. Okay guys, so the weirdest thing just happened. I pull into the parking lot of TJ Maxx and there's a car that looks exactly like Layla. Like, not even kidding. And Layla's my car in case I forgot to tell you that. If you ever hear me say Layla, just assume that it's the car because it, it really is. It's, it's going to be my car. And now I'm just trying to get out of my car, but I'm being a little bit fast. And I'll show you the front of my car and I'll show you the front of the other car. And we're gonna have fun. Yeah. You ready for this? You ready? Gotta lock the door so no one breaks in. You ready? Ready? Let's go. So, this is Layla. She's got paint missing on the front. And, yeah. She's a uh, Dodge Stratus. She's blue. She's an 04. I love her. Okay. Now we gotta go look at the other car because this is some exciting shiznit. I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm legit. I'm serious. I'm probably blinding you with the sun, aren't I? I apologize. That's the worst thing for me to do. Worst thing to get subscribers, which reminds me. <laughs> Subscribe. And, yeah. Look. Same car. Like, same exact car. I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah, we got to these up in this shit, man. Would anybody like an outfit of the day while we're in DJ Max? I've got on my uh, Doctors Out Borders shirt since it's got those. Millions don't. And, uh, my Express shorts. I'm like, 10,000 years ago, and then my Adidas sandals, because that's how I win, guys, so let's see what we can find in this majestical place, shall we? You know what's sad is I can't afford, like, anything in here, because I'm so poor. Yeah, even though I just got my first paycheck, I'm like, I can't afford anything. That's the worst thing about that. And people keep giving me weird looks like, what, don't you vlog in the LTJ? I vlog. But, uh, yeah, it probably looks like I'm looking well out, but I'm just trying to scan my items. So, let's see what I can find. Again, round two. I must be the worst friend ever, because I literally can't find anything I think she'd like. Like, okay, I found, like, this sign that says, be your own kind of beautiful, and it's awesome, but I'm like... Would she want this? Would she hang it up? Like, I thought about getting a matching one for the hell of it, but like, I don't know if she'd like use it or anything. I'm kind of being discouraged. 
want. What is this? What kind of sorcery is this? What? I don't know what's going on. I need to find something or I'll be the worst friend ever and I don't want to be the worst friend ever. So we should uh, probably solve this mystery sooner or later. Right? Yeah. Please help me solve this mystery, everybody, please. Please, please comment below what you get for your best friend who loves Doctor Who, mustaches, Sherlock, and fiction. Me, she like me. <laughs> yeah, just please. Please help me, everybody, please. Please help me. Hey guys, so I would have videoed this before while I was in TJ, but those are really much to film, and I was going back and forth between this dress I really liked. And I just couldn't decide, and I finally didn't get it, but I did find Emily something, so I'm very excited, and hopefully she'll be in a vlog with us sometime. And yeah, it's time for our adventure to be over, and we're gonna go home now, and we're gonna go to an, uh, one of my uncle's houses to have him set up for a garage sale. So, until next time, bye!